Hey guys, it's Kelly. If you watched my unboxing video, you would have seen that I got these gorgeous acrylics from Colorcast Designs and my wild hair kit. And I have a bunch of these numbers. Now I wanted to do something to really showcase the numbers because I will never use all of these in my December daily because I like to mix things up. So what I have decided to do is to update this uh, advent calendar. Um, I'm going to keep the pictures the same because I adore these photos of when the kids were smaller. This style wasn't even really my style when I did it. I just liked the fact that it was an advent calendar and it was homemade and you know that the kids pictures were on it and I just followed the directions. This is an old making memories advent calendar. So I'm going to update this with my uh, color cast uh, acrylic numbers and uh, pink fresh studio um, little die cuts and pattern papers so I'm just going to put you on fast forward I just wanted to kind of you know tell you my reasoning and also what I did is I just took a piece of pattern paper and I trimmed around it so I have a template to um, cut out all of my papers All right, so at this point, what I'm going to do is go through my Pink Fresh 6x6 paper pad. This is uh, their Holiday Vibes collection, and I'm just picking out some of the patterns that will be a nice, bright, uh, cheerful, and also go with the gorgeous Bramble and Fox acrylics. And I know that I want to use, you know, traditional reds and greens, and then add that pop of navy. I just think it's a nice mix um, to some of the more traditional Christmas colors. And what I like about these prints from Pink Fresh Studio is they are, you know, with the exception of the Christmas tree print that I'm using, they are not traditional uh, Christmas, um, I guess, designs. And, you know, it, you know, when I'm looking at these pictures of my kids, they are like, hmm, the oldest I think is maybe six and eight and that's that's no they're not even that old um maybe five and seven um and starting like in three or you know Emily maybe three or four years old so I thought that um you know these prints definitely work much better with photos of younger kids and like I mentioned earlier you know these um these prints that I was using for this Making Memories Advent Calendar um, were not even on my radar as things that I really liked. I just, you know, I like the idea of having personalized holiday decorations because that just makes it feel more authentic to me. So um, most of these things were pretty easy coming off. And um, I, I do want you to know, at first I was not going to do this box. I had looked on Pinterest, and Pinterest has a bunch of ideas for DIY advent calendars. They're using like treat bags or small um, tags, um, you know, that you can hang off of some like chicken wire on a frame. Those are, you know, pretty popular at like hobby craft stores like Michael's or Hobby Lobby. And, um, I, you know, because I was going to do that at first, and then I remembered that I had this. Um, I just, I couldn't bear to throw it away, which now I'm glad because the way that this has turned out is uh, definitely so much better. So you're going to see me, I am pulling out the numbers, trying to situate them on uh, pattern papers where you can see the numbers and where they pop off and that they look good. And I'm going to keep the photo placement boxes the same just because I kind of like how it's you know scattered throughout so I'm going to do that and then I'm going to try to figure out which numbers I want to use and you know which pieces of ephemera that I want to use so the only thing that I am using um, supply wise are the Bramble Fox acrylics um, the Pink Fresh Studio Holiday Vibes 6x6 paper pad the Holiday Vibes Ephemera, and I believe, yes, the um, enamel dots, enamel dots, the enamel shape, well, the enamel circles that come 
they're not like you know the small enamel dots but those um, that green round cheer if you can see that on my mat and or actually there you can see them on the uh, left hand side of the mat so it, at this point it's just you know moving things around just trying to figure out what I like um, there's green teal and those are kind of bunched together but with the numbers and the, the pattern paper placement I really couldn't move too much of it because if I you know move the pattern paper then I'd have to like you know to move one pattern paper I'd have to make like three or four more moves just because that way the pattern papers wouldn't be on top of one another and I just decided that this was a project that was going to be perfectly fine to be imperfect so um you know if you're thinking oh there's a lot of green in that you know lower right hand section or on the lower section and not you know up top yeah i noticed it and i just let it go so i decided for number 25 to use the home i cut that out of the 12 by 12 pattern paper from pink fresh studio holiday vibes and I put that in the die cuts because I liked that the you know I put the pink house and the blue house because I really liked the homes and I thought that they would be perfect you know or they might be perfect as well and I if I'm not going to use it for this I'm definitely going to keep it aside for my December daily so you know for me I like to have those little bits and pieces ready to go so to glue down the acrylics, I know that people have used all sorts of things. I'm just going to share with you what I use and what worked, and that is my glossy accents. And um, you can see here I actually forgot to peel off the, the backing that is on the acrylic pieces. If you get these acrylic pieces, the backing is on the front and the back just to help keep it um, nice, shiny, and slick. So um, don't forget to peel that off if you do get those. So now the only thing I'm going to do is adhere everything down. I tried not to overthink it too much. I wanted this to be, you know, somewhat of a quicker project. I mean, it was still, you know, probably about an hour and a half of time for me. Um, just, you know, with the cutting and the fussy cutting and trying to figure out what I wanted to put where. And that's fine. It's just, you know, my time is limited. So I wanted to... You know have something I can enjoy that didn't look like or that didn't take me you know way too long and you know I was really happy with the way this turned out so I hope this guys you know this maybe inspires you guys to you know do like a homemade uh, advent calendar or something along those lines this is so much fun I think that Patrick is going to enjoy it when he comes home and sees it I know that he won't be there to get treats for every drawer but you know when he's home I think he will like it and you know it's for me the holidays are about bringing little things that are special to the season so that's it for me I do have some close-ups at the end where you can see how this looks all together and um, oh I do want your comment um, I'm, I'm contemplating oh you can see the dust there I'm contemplating spray painting the box white I have not done it yet because I can't decide let me know, um, leave me a note in the comments if you think I should spray paint it white. Uh, thanks so much for joining me. I hope you guys enjoyed this and I will see you soon. Take care. Bye.